There's so much that happens in the venues. I mean, from people wanting to meet Tiesto, to people wanting an autograph or a photo, or people just generally, you know, having the time of their lives. The new request? Are you gonna play the new Hardwell one or not? That's yes. a given, right? 076. Let's talk about the tonight. We're walking in. Before I go down, we have a session. Bro. What do you want to hear tonight? I've done a lot of concerts and, and shows in my lifetime with various different artists and the thing that really amazes me the most about Tiesto is the control he has over the crowd. The, the way he interacts with the crowd on a night-to-night -night basis, it, it never gets old. I must say New York is the best place to be, you know, and you have everything you want, like all the stores, expensive stuff, cheap stuff, it's amazing, it's all mixed together, it's not good for your wallet though, but... <laughs> it's like old minus seven and I have no jacket, because I gave my jacket away, I was a gentleman. I like to see what the brands make, because they're always a little bit ahead of the rest, so I can always check in there and like see what fashion is going to be like. There's definitely no such fashion week in New York. It is. Models and bottles everywhere. And music and fashion is like, you know, they go hand in hand of course. And I always wanted to have my own clothing line. So I finally found good partners and people to work with. First thing we did was we came up with this concept of PM to AM. Yeah, so we didn't want to do AM PM, right? Because that's what normal people do. But in yeah. our world, it's always we do PM to, to AM. Right, exactly. So, yeah. so we came up with this concept. Yeah. And again, we wanted to show, you know, it's a vision of the night. It's, um, you know, it's a vision of fantasy. And we started designing our shirts, and this is actually one of them. And uh, yeah, the reactions on it are phenomenal. I want to be really involved with it, and, but I'm really happy with the uh, with the first drawings. I mean, it looks really amazing. I'm really. Uh, yeah, really excited, Great. really excited, so well done. It's not like uh, I want to make huge money on it or make big profits, it's just more like a fun thing to do and to be involved in, to make your own shirts and get inspired by the crowd, what you see out there. Do you want to go up and go through your CDs, yeah? Yes, please. Okay. Is this the entrance to the club as well? No, no we're going through the back. Oh, good. It was a spontaneous idea to come to New York, and so far it's been amazing. Three shows in a row. On Friday night, I started off playing in Long Island at a great club called Glow. Yesterday, I was at Provocateur, which is like the smallest place I probably will play this year. And tonight, I'm going to play for the fans at Webster Hall. So, How are you liking New York? I love it. It's my third show. Tour, like, I was proud of the tour, was that good? The what? I was proud of the tour last time? Yeah, it was good, but I was very tired of it. I played until 6.15. Really? Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! He asked me to do it. Two hundred shows in uh, 2011. We're uh, a little bit more than halfway through the year, and sure enough, uh, Tiesto's cell phone is no longer working. We're gonna go get it replaced right now. You think the traffic is bad over there? I mean, look at the sidewalk. You can't even move around here. Unfortunately, I'm kind of the guy that gets dealt all the problems. More often than not, you kind of deal with things as they come up. 
at this time, the most busiest time in New York, you can never get a taxi because they're all off duty. It's crazy. They would not let us record in their store, or film, or even take a photo for that matter. But they would sell us a new phone, of course. So this is Main Stage. It looks pretty good. Well, it's a tradition when we play festivals, we have pizza. And it's 10 pizzas, but you will be surprised. They will go. That's a lot of pizzas. <laughs> Can I have a pizza? It's nice to do it. Yeah, cheese. Really? Yeah. Where do you have to start? You start. You stay here. You start here. That's supposed to be on 50 minutes ago. Something like that. There's no lights. The lights are not working. So uh, there's no show without any lights. Best confetti drop I've ever seen in my life. That was a good <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sick. Dude, check it out. Tiestos <laughs> to the top, man. Wow, this is super, wow, huh? Wow, wow. This is insane. Wow. So to be in front of this and the way they write about me is very. Uh, I'm honored, to be honest. Next time on In the Booth. We are in Wisconsin. One of the biggest cultures in America. The kids are now growing up with the music whereas they weren't before. Take an artist as big as Tiesto who's playing to festival crowds of 50, 60, 75,000 fans and book them into colleges. It's almost unheard of. 